You're looking at the landing distance chart out of the aircraft's POH performance section. And in our example, we're going to land at our airport, uh, 1,048 feet field elevation. The winds are calm. The temperature is 13 degrees Celsius, which is standard for this elevation. And the altimeter setting is standard pressure, 2992. Now when we look at the landing distance chart, it only gives us one weight in this particular chart, so that would be our only choice. And then the speed on our approach in order to achieve these numbers says that we should use an approach speed of 60 knots. And the pressure altitude, since we have standard pressure, the field elevation is also the same as our pressure altitude, so we would use the 1000. The temperatures we have 13 degrees in our scenario, so 13 is pretty close to 10. We could just choose the 10 degrees, or you could take the time to interpolate. And if we calculate a ground roll versus clearing 50-foot obstacle, the worst case scenario would be the 50-foot obstacle. So I would use the 1265. So the chart says that we would use uh, 1,265 feet of runway in order to uh, land and get stopped in time. Now don't forget to pay attention to the notation section because it says short field technique as specified in section 4. So anything other than you per, uh, performing the technique as specified would give you a worse case scenario than the numbers listed here. And it says decrease the distance 10% for each uh, 8 knots of headwind but in our scenario, the winds are calm, so we don't need to adjust our number. And then it says for operations with a tailwind, then you have to adjust your number also, but our winds are calm. And then it says for operations on a drier grass runway, then you would need to adjust your distance also. But we're landing on uh, pavement, the winds are calm, the temperature is standard, and the altimeter is standard. So should we stop with this number here? No, don't. Remember to always add 50% as a go going rule of thumb because all the different things involved, the age of the engine and propeller, um, the condition of your landing gear, the fact that you may not perform these, the um, procedures exactly perfect, uh, even um, the fact that your runway could be up or downhill as you're trying to stop the aircraft. So remember to add about 50% to this and I would probably just add 700 to make the numbers easy and I would not intend on landing at any runway less than uh, 1,965 feet in this given scenario.